Well, there's nothing sexy about a quarterback sneak, but the Hawkeyes have been making it look good early this season. Hawkeye headquarters reporter Adam Rosso takes a deep dive into Iowa's suddenly favored weapon in the trenches. You know, maybe if I would have been able to stay on my feet on that one, I would have had some more. The Hawkeyes are getting sneaky in short yardage situations. Nate Stanley, the ball carrier. By using the good old fashioned quarterback sneak. You know, Bill Parcells, that's all they did, you know, uh, when he was coaching. Nate Stanley ran the down and dirty play four times in the win over Middle Tennessee. Jeez, yeah, averaging, what, like seven yards a carry? <laughs> that's the third straight game with multiple sneaks from the Iowa quarterback. <laughs> Stanley says there is a little more to the play than meets the eye. Certain blitz looks, you know, hey, the defensive line is going to stem or, or uh, you know, move. So, you know, I think it, it really just depends on each look. Each look is a little bit different. Um, you know, you're just looking for a crease out there. The most interesting thing about all these quarterback sneaks, Nate Stanley gets absolutely amped up when they're called in the huddle. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. He's, he's going he's gonna to put his shoulder down on one of them. He gets excited and he gets all riled up when we get a quarterback sneak coming. The excitement has increased expectations. Cole Banwert says he's waiting for Stanley to pop a big one. Trying to give him a little crap about not breaking one of them sooner or later for like a 100 yard rush, but it's fun just being out there with him. I mean, Nate's a fun guy to play with. Uh, you know, I think those guys were pretty fast, uh, so, you know, I don't think I would have got very far. The Hawkeyes' final quarterback sneak on Saturday was a Spencer Petras touchdown. Kirk Ferentz saying afterward that quarterback's coach Ken O'Keefe wasn't too keen on Petras doing the sneak because he's a couple inches taller than Nate Stanley. Reporting from Iowa City, Adam Rosso for Hawkeye Headquarters.